in one of the funniest fucking comics that I've met recently, and he's from LA. Give it up for my good friend Bill Dog! Blonde hair, blue eyes. 
I've never once been recruited by the Nazi party. I'm the first round draft pick for the Nazi party. In my lifetime, no one's ever approached me. Hello. Hi. Would you like to hear more about our organization? We have some patterns you can share. You can like us on Facebook or retweet us on Twitter. Accents and how to turn the TV off my foot. <laughs> Here's how you do German, by the way, if you guys want to fuck around. You, do German. you start with Russian. You do a Russian accent. You do a normal American, you do a Western accent, make yourself cold, angry, miserable, depressed. That is Russian. You have no expression. You let it go. <laughs> when you have orgasm, orgasm, that is Russian. No joy, no expression. Make the Russian gay, and all of a sudden you are German. The Germans just in a Russian so it is. Then you make the German gay, you're French, if French is just a gay German, just a gay Russian, you make the French gay, you're a lady Gaga or something like that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what the fuck am I talking about? I'm sick of fear. I'm also sick of everyone telling me I'm racist all the time, just because I look, you know, racist. <laughs> I'm not, I hate everyone the same. You know what I mean? I don't fucking care. I don't think about race, I don't think about gender, I don't care if you're white, black, brown, binary, Asian, a woman. I just want you to drive faster. Just fucking go. Just fucking move. I'm behind you on the left foot on the fucking 35. Get to the fucking right. If you're on the sidewalk and you're grocery bag, move to the fucking side. If you're on the down escalator at the airport with your suitcase and no one's in front of you, I'm kicking you down to the fucking cinema. Fuck you. My point is we need more love. <laughs> we do, man. Everyone wants to hate everyone. It's hard for me too, because, uh, you know, I'm liberal, but my dad voted for Trump. My brother's a cop. My mom's name is Karen. Uh, by the way, that's a honky hat trick right there. I'm mixed myself. I'm a half white, half trash from the BS. And uh, I grew up in West Virginia. <laughs> Very racist part of West Virginia called the West Virginia. <laughs> I went back home during quarantine, got this chance to all say, they're all drunk on cheap wine from boxes. They're all bow-legged from the rickets. They should their pants up over their diabetes belly. Cross out drooling, they got no teeth. They get their gummies, bad back and truck driving. Just walk around the trailer park like drunk redneck and midgets all day. Hey, 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 hey. You must get a lot of pussy out there, lady, huh? You must get a lot of pussy out there, lady. My mom was like, ugh, not really, ma. Uh, <laughs> by the way, I apologize that you guys didn't see my camel balls. Did you know that joke? My pants are too tight. I gained some weight from quarantine. Wear my pre quarantine pants. My post quarantine girdle. Yeah. <laughs> Skims. I gained 22 fucking pounds. Or I'm a Democrat, though. It's not my fault. No, it's not. No, man. They're fucking with Yo, the Illuminati, bro. They're fucking with us, man. There's this vicious circle of, like, Netflix, grub up, and weed. It's the fucking vortex. I'm just fucking caught in the goddamn middle. Netflix is evil as fuck. They're evil. They don't give a fuck about it. They used to be nice. They were a mom and pop organization back in the day. If you're watching a series on Netflix, or you get the second episode, they're really a problem. Boop, boop. Are you still watching? Are you okay? I'm just gonna pause and hang out, make sure everything's fine. Maybe we should do well this Go out have a walk, call your mom. I don't know what's going on. I'm just gonna wait. Not anymore. Now Netflix is like, next show starts in 14 seconds, motherfucker. You're watching whether you like or not, whether you're alive or dead. Then you watch another series about a transgender with the autism at the end of the world. You got four seconds to pack your ball in order to drop it. You fat fuck. And I'll say, whoa! Anyway, so. So I get some weight. Uh. Also, weed. Fuck weed. 
Who smokes weed here? I smoke weed sometimes, every day, all the time. Uh, no, but I'm not a stoner. I need it because I have a couple broken, couple broken dreams. Uh, but what I did discover in Portland was about a sex on weed. Who has sex on weed? Guys, no! You gotta fucking do it. You have to fucking do it. You gotta fucking do it. Because then we're shit in bed. We don't know what the fuck we're doing. We're so self conscious. We're like, Ugh, you lived it? You lived it? You lived it? She's like, I'm over here. Oh shit, you lived it? You get stoned, you're not self so conscious. Your ego evaporates. Who says a time, place, who you are, where you are? That would be weird because it says a time, right? Like sometimes I don't know if I'm going for two minutes or two hours. One time with my girlfriend, we're going at it like, like forever. Afterwards, I was like, whoo! You're gonna be sore tomorrow. Must have blown your back out. I looked over, she's not there. Turns out I have a girlfriend. Yeah. That was, that was just really good fucking weed, what can I say? Next thing you know, I'm getting kicked out of Starbucks. I was playing tongue chicken. So if you look at me with that was a masturbation joke. <laughs> Can I talk about masturbation? I need everyone's verbal consent. Can I talk about masturbation? Thank God, I'm not gonna masturbate in front of you guys. I need everyone's verbal consent. Guess what, fellas? You're in the splash zone. <laughs> Bring out the yellow ponchos in the front row. It's not Sea World, it's the Louis C.K. tribute show. Anyway, uh, Undefeated in relationships. I don't know, I think she was bored having sex with me. She was, I know she, this is how I know she was bored having sex with me. The last time we had sex, she faked my orgasm. Guys, what the fuck is that? She has some corral on her chest. I'm like, God, Billy, you can't so hard. I'm like, I did? <laughs> Try spice it up. Off with the idea of a threesome. Who's had threesomes here? Uh, had one threesome with two girls. Turns out I wasn't the center of the threesome. I was the assistant to the lesbians. That was my whole job. I was just handing them products, changing double A batteries, <laughs> helping out during the difficult moments. All you, some of you, mostly me. <laughs> that's the only threesome you can have. I'm, not, I'm talking about girl, 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 not guy, guy, girl. Because two guys and a girl, that is not a threesome. That is gay sex to witness, right, fellas? <laughs> I think it would be fun to be gay, right? But is it? <laughs> 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 now the gyms are back over, man. In LA, I go to this gay gym called Crunch Fitness. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, right? That's a gay, it is a gay. That gym is so gay, they only have a back door. Uh, I'm just saying, you go in the shower and the soap holder's on the floor. That's a little guy's car. I'm not being homophobic. Gay guys are very nice. They always want to spot you at the urinal. But, uh. <laughs> no, trust me. Everyone's just dancing, fucking appetizers and blows because I'm down there. Like, hey, hey, hey. No job. I've never known a gay guy with a job and they're all fucking rich. <laughs> How's that possible? Because they're not spending money on women. Now, um... <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> sexism. Not a possible sexism. <laughs> we got the smoothie bar, the guy was supposed to be a girl. What's up, girl? What's up, girl? You want a smoothie girl? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> You want a protein boost? <laughs> Fuck no! <laughs> Find one squirt. Uh, <laughs> yeah, guys are fucking red. Who goes to gym here? You got you, gym, my guys. You ever gay guy staring at the gym, bro? Oh, it sucks. I fucking hate it. It's worse, right, bro? Particularly when he's really fucking hot. You know what I'm saying, bro? He's a little bit, right? You have to work your bikes and turn bike over the years. Fabulous, you ever have that happen, bro? I'm saying, bro, so you know I'm straight, bro. You ever have that happen, bro? 